Jasmine Sowers was just 25 years old when she made a startling discovery. I remember standing in the mirror one day with a rib tank top, and I could clearly see that one breast was larger than the other. Two mammograms showed everything was fine, but Sowers pushed her doctors to keep looking, and they did an MRI. Almost the whole breast lit up. Cancer all over her left breast, and the mammograms had missed it. Mammography is not perfect. But it's 2022, and computers can read mammograms now, too. At New York University, an AI program created by Professor Christoph Geras can detect cancers on mammograms that are imperceptible to humans. There is a very high chance that this part of the image contains cancer. And the radiologist didn't see it, but the AI saw it. That's right, yes. The technology could be especially important for younger women like Sowers, who have denser breasts. When we do a mammogram on a younger woman's breast, the breast on mammography is white. And we're looking for something white, the tumor, in a white background. Think of it like finding a snowball in a blizzard. These kind of complex patterns are somehow difficult to understand for humans. And AI just doesn't have this problem. It never gets tired. It's always going to be at its best. And at MIT, an AI program created by Professor Regina Barzilai and her student, Adam Yala, goes a step further. It can say whether a woman is at high risk for developing cancer in the future based on her mammograms in the present. You're looking at Professor Barzilai's own mammograms. She was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2014. So the artificial intelligence that your team invented, you tried it out on your 2012 mammogram years later, and what did it show? It showed that I was in the highest risk of breast cancer. Nobody would ask a radiologist, can you look at this image of healthy woman and say whether she's gonna get cancer in two or three years. So you're bringing AI technology to the task that humans can do. Sowers thinks about what would have happened if she trusted that first image of her breast. I don't know if I'd be here today. Her hope? that better technology in years to come will mean that other women won't have to catch their own cancers. For Big Picture, Elizabeth Cohen, Jacksonville, Florida.